uh, multi-flow navigation. Starting at the top, we have our power and DC indicators. The power will always be on when the controller is receiving either AC or DC. And the DC light will come on when it's receiving DC. Next to that, we have our well light indicator and tank light indicator. These two will be illuminated when there is either a problem or if it's running smoothly. Going down, we have our V for volts, A for amps, R for rotation or RPMs, and then our wattage that is being used. Going down, we have our MPPT, this is pure solar, PID, MPA, T, and IOT. Going down, we have our mode, up, switch, on, on off, down, and enter. Using the mode button does nothing. Our switch button will switch between the rotations, voltage display, amperage display, and wattage display. Enter is to confirm our settings. If we, for instance, want to change our speed settings, we use that to confirm our running mode. And that is the basics of this controller without having to set anything. How to change the different modes of the new multi-flow controller from the off or on position. Using the mode and up button, we can change between our modes being AC, DC, hybrid or auto. Pressing them down, we firstly get our hybrid function. This will prioritize the DC power and supplement with AC power to 2200 watts in cases where the DC power is too low to provide optimal power to the controller. Depressing them again, we switch to AC. Here it will only use AC power to power the system and this will only reach 2200 watts. Depressing again, we are pure DC. This will only use power provided by our solar panels. And going back to auto, this function will automatically switch between the strongest supply. If the AC is stronger than the DC, it will prioritize AC. If DC is stronger than AC, it will prioritize the DC.